Now I want to show you the future of offline programming. How can you optimize all your paths for your laser cutting CNC machine in less than a minute and done absolutely automatically? This thing is really amazing. So today I want to show you the future of offline programming. I'm going to give you a couple of examples so you can really see what has been the progress and how ridiculously easy now is to create very, very complex toolpaths in just seconds. So here we're just going to start what we would do. We usually just create the toolpath of the outer counter, but we can clearly see there is collisions all over the place. We have to fix this. And here I'm going to skip for you all the process of doing this because it is about 20 minutes that takes me here. Um, this is sped up 20 times. The continuous process is just modifying a lot of points, doing interpolations, and here the best possible programming taxes are used. All the shortcuts, all the best practices are used. And still then, we have to go back, trace over, trying to find the best orientation for the head of the machine. And this can be very, very challenging for a beginner user. The user has to create manual optimizations and all kinds of interpolations for the normal vectors and for the C axis of the machine. And this can be a very long and complex process. Still at the end, you end up with a result that it might not be perfect. In this case, I have a lot of points where the transition in between one section of the toolpath and the other one is not the greatest. The machine is moving the head too quickly. This can lead into slower cycle times, vibrations, or some process quality defects. This whole process of manual optimization of the toolpath can take for a beginner user up to four hours, but we can indeed do better. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start a new program and I'm going to basically program the same toolpath. But in this case, I'm going to use our automatic path optimization. Here quickly, we just need to go into our active program and really the only step is going to the section of the toolpath quality and clicking our toolpath or an entire program and select the automatic path optimization. This is going to check the geometry of the collisions and it's going to find a solution for our toolpath that can do all the transitions automatically, can do all of the collision solving automatically. And before the idea, when we started this is we'll say, Okay, while this is happening, you can go for a coffee, you can um, maybe read your email or let's just the computer run. But we have increased the performance so much then I don't even think you can go for a water now. For this particular part, the whole process of optimization took about 23 seconds. This is generating an entire toolpath that is actually better quality than the one I created, than what I created in somewhere in between 30 minutes and couple of hours of very intense work. So as I said before, if you go to the log, you can always see how long did your automatic path optimization took. In this case, it was actually 23 seconds. And I can show you quickly some of the settings that we have. We always check for unreachability and collisions. We have different settings to determine how much you can deviate from your process, how much is your step size or your deviation. But we have added now as well, a setting for deciding how much you want to go on speed or on quality. And it's just a simple slider and you can go from zero to 100 and by default it's at half. Uh, but you can decide if you want an optimization that goes really quickly, just put this all the way to 95% and then try to run it again. This is going to find a faster solution that it might not be as optimal as the one you have, but it's good for when you're doing testing. Um, so in this case, you can see here quickly, it was just 15, 16 seconds. And we have tested this with many different parts. Some of the ones that we have uh, similar to the ones that we use with the customers. For example, this one is a part that requires two path optimizations with interpolations to make it work. But here using this automatic tool path optimization, it just takes 10 seconds and you get the tilts of the angle, the rotation of the head, the increments on the sides and the approaches. I know all of the machines that we're showing here are Prima machines, but we have tested uh, this automatic toolpath optimization with Trumpf, uh, Entity, and Mitsubishi machine with the same great results. This is our most complicated part from our training for laser cutting. As you can see, you have so many uh, bridges and troubles and the head goes all over the place and it requires multiple optimizations and interpolations and modifications for the entire path. I'm just going to stop here and I'm going to run 
the optimization. And this part actually took about a minute, but I can tell you, when you do this during the training, this is half a day of training. So it's like easily four or hours for someone being guided when they're starting to learn and how to do something that looks like this. So what do we get at the end with this automatic toolpath optimization that is absolutely amazing? We get a smooth machine motion. This will improve the machine behavior and can have further reductions in the process by up to five to 10%. We get a toolpath that is collision free and we solve problems with unreachability. We get all these modifications using the best possible cutting angles and user interactions are being reduced by up to 99% and the total programming time by up to 90%. So don't believe us, try it for yourself. If you want, you can always request a test license for this new feature. Uh, so you can give it a go. You can use the, the parts that I have shown you here today. We'll provide it to you so you can learn how to use it. And you can also test it with your own parts to see the benefits that you could be having.